Welcome back. So here's a scary fact. More than 200,000 cardiac arrests occur in U.S. hospitals each year, and less than 24% of those patients survive. Well, now the American Heart Association is working to solve that problem. It believes part of the problem is skills decay in healthcare professionals. Here to tell us what's being done is uh, John Miners with the uh, American Heart Association. Thank you so much for being here, first of all. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think a healthcare professional, I think, okay, they've got the skills. They know what they're doing. But they may have had those skills or got those skills a while ago, and it doesn't mean that they're, I don't know, 100%, shall we say, in doing those skills, correct? That's right. You know, we've been doing and, and learned about CPR more than 50 years ago, yeah. and we haven't changed the way that we've trained healthcare providers in that time. But we, uh, as a science organization, studied how long those skills uh, remain, and uh, it turns out that, that uh, we start seeing skills decay after three to six months. So right now, like a medical, like the requirement is for a medical care professional is to get CPR training every two years. That's correct. Right? And so, but you're saying after three to six months that, that you start to see a decline in their ability to care for somebody. Exactly. Wow. So the new process that we're introducing today mm -hmm. has to do with uh, lower doses and more frequent training and skills testing for healthcare providers. I said practice makes perfect, but you corrected me and you said... Perfect practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So making sure that you're doing it right and getting more practice. So this is this new cart that you guys have um, that is basically going to allow nurses, allow doctors to really um, practice this regularly. Right? Yeah. Yes, the, the challenge was trying to figure out how we replace a four to eight hour course and yeah. take them, healthcare provider, out of the workforce caring for patients uh, and bring it right to them, to their uh, ward, to the place of, that they're working and allow them to do a 10 minute practice every three months. Wow, okay, so this is the cart right here. Explain to me what's going on. So this, uh, this healthcare provider is, is logged in and, and doing their 10 minute high fidelity simulation. Uh, these uh, devices were developed in partnership with a Norwegian company called Lerdo. Mm -hmm. uh, they provide real time feedback and very precise uh, feedback to the healthcare provider, even verbal coaching. If they're doing it uh, really? slightly wrong, it'll tell them how to correct till they get perfect. Wow, that's impressive. So um, 30 largest U.S. health systems are going to be joining today at a huge event in Dallas, basically to pledge to do this kind of training. And the whole idea is just to um, try to prevent cardiac arrest, right? That's right. We think that we can get to zero preventable deaths uh, wow. from cardiac arrest uh, by having higher quality CPR. Wow. And this is going to help? This is going to help. All right. In fact, uh, two of the hospitals that helped us pioneer this, mm -hmm. uh, six will be recognized today, but two are right here from Dallas. Which two? Uh, the uh, uh, UT uh, uh, Southwest Southwestern? Okay. Medical Center yes. and Texas Health Resources. And Texas Health Resources, two huge hospitals are going to be implementing this, and that makes us as patients, I know, feel a little bit better. So thank you so much for informing us. We appreciate it. You can find a link to the American Heart Association on our website, fox4news.com.